Hi there, I'm Chef Lauren Smith with another episode of Conscious Culinary for Natural Partners. And today we're going to be working again with one of our manufacturer partners, CRC Medical. They're a brand new line and we're really, really kind of excited today to use their Protein Plus powder. It's a really cool protein because it's 100% plant derived, so they use pea and cranberry protein. It's really good for immune support. It's 100% of your daily RDA of vitamins and minerals. And it's great for people with allergies. On top of that, there's good fiber in it as well. So it's an all-rounder kind of product. You want your daily multivitamins, you want your protein, it's in one scoop. And it's really low in sugar. It's only about four grams because they use a nice blend of stevia and a really good quality cane sugar. So it tastes great on top of that. Some people said it kind of tastes like cake batter. So I think it would make a great addition to a gluten-free waffle. Really simple recipe so you can have a fun version of getting your protein and your multivitamins in the morning, but in a gluten-free waffle. So watch this recipe, try it. You're really going to like it, especially this product. To get started on this waffle mix, you basically just have to put all of your dry ingredients together. So just grab yourself a large bowl. What I have here is a half a cup of potato starch. It's a really, really fine powder. Remember, starch, not flour. And then I have a half a cup of a really nice rice flour. These are all organic, by the way. And then right here is the half a cup of the CRC uh, protein powder. And that goes right in. It's got a really beautiful vanilla smell to it. And then here in my little container, I have a quarter cup's worth of a tapioca flour. If you can't find tapioca, you could use potato flour as well. Just one of those really high starch contents. And then I have almost a teaspoon's worth of really good sea salt, a teaspoon's worth of crystallized xylitol. You could use pure cane sugar. You could use stevia, whatever you want and then two teaspoons worth of a baking powder. So that's kind of our leavening agent. So all that in there. And I'm just gonna give it a quick mix with the whisk just to make sure all the different starches get incorporated well. We don't wanna have clumps. Okay. So now that we're kinda even in color, I'm gonna add the wet ingredients. So here I have quarter cups worth of a really nice extra virgin first press olive oil. Don't have to use olive oil, you could use sunflower, you could use coconut, but just a nice kind of veggie derived oil. It's kind of the best way to go for this because we're almost on the, the gluten, or I'm sorry, the vegan track. So, two eggs, nice organic eggs. Like I said, if you're doing the vegan thing, you could substitute this for two tablespoons of ground flax mill. And that's basically this really nice kind of binder. Once ground flax hits water, it gets um, almost slimy like a raw egg. It's pretty cool. So my eggs. Okay. And then a cup and a quarter of a good quality organic buttermilk. Again, if you're doing the vegan thing, you could do a cup and a quarter of a vegetable derived milk like almond, rice, hemp, soy, whatever, and add just about a tablespoon's worth of another type of cultured product, like a yogurt, to get that buttermilky sourness out of it. So you could use a coconut milk yogurt, you could use a soy milk yogurt, anything like that. Just giving you really good options, because everybody is different with these sorts of things. And then you just mix it up until it's well combined. Traditionally, with a waffle or a pancake batter, you want to mix it until it's just combined because of the gluten formation. In our case, we don't have gluten. So we want to mix until there's no lumps. All right. Once it's nice and smooth like this, we're ready to go into our waffle maker. So to prep our waffle maker, we just want to make sure that everything's going to be non-stick. There's nothing worse than having a waffle stick to the waffle maker. I can think of other things actually, but we're going to make it nonstick. Get yourself a rag, a paper towel, anything, and I dipped it into the same olive oil that we used in our recipe, and we're just going to wipe it down really gently. 
Now, traditionally, you could use butter. You just have to be really careful with that because you don't want the butter to brown and smoke and go rancid. But a nice olive oil like this is perfect. Just a little wipe. And each time you do a waffle, just give it a little smear of olive oil. So I'm going to do a nice hefty spoonful right into the waffle maker. And now this is gluten free, so it's not going to spread out like a traditional waffle. Do a little bit more. And what we're going to have to do is help it out with the back of the spatula or a spoon. Just spread it a little bit. We'll do a tiny bit more. We just want to cover the majority of this waffle round. And then we'll let gravity do its work. So when we close this, it'll spread out even more. Let me give it a flip, and I'm just going to keep making them until I'm done with my waffle batter. Our last waffle is ready to come out. So you should see that nice kind of golden brown color. And they're really cool because they smell like you're making waffle cones. You know when you go into an ice cream parlor, that really good vanilla and bread smell? OK, so these are my beautiful waffles. And all you really have to do to top them off is whatever you like. I want to stay on the healthier side, right? Because we worked really hard to do the gluten-free and use the good CRC powder. So I'm going to drizzle it with a little bit of a good dark raw agave nectar, some fresh fruit, and I'm going to call this a good breakfast. that. Not too shabby. <clears throat> and then at the grocer there were some beautiful fresh local peaches and blackberries. Totally a good combination to me. And just kind of arrange them wherever you want them. And then those beautiful little blackberries right on top. All right, so this was again with our CRC Medical Protein Plus Powder. It's that really, really nice vegetarian derived protein with your daily vitamins and nutrients, some great fiber in it as well, and these are going to be amazing. I hope you guys try this recipe at home, and I really, really hope you enjoy them. Thanks for watching.